Hey everyone, it's Lindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I was going to list a couple of things on Facebook Marketplace to make some of that extra money working from home. And I figured that I would create the listings with you and show you exactly how I list on Facebook Marketplace. Here lately, there has been a lot of interest in listing more merchandise on the Facebook Marketplace, not just for local buyers, but buyers all over the United States ever since Facebook has integrated a shipping option into their Marketplace features. Before, when you used to sell things on Facebook, you had to be a part of you know, a Facebook buy-sell trade group, and then they opened up the Facebook Marketplace, but it was still really centralized to all of your local buyers, almost like an online yard sale where you would just sell things out of your house. But now Facebook Marketplace has morphed into an online selling platform and it really looks like Facebook is gearing up to compete with sites like eBay and Amazon, which makes it a really good contender for sellers like us who are looking to make money while working from home. Now I have done a handful of helpful videos for Facebook Marketplace and I will definitely make sure to link those specific videos as well as a entire playlist for Facebook Marketplace down in my video description. I will also pin it to the top pinned comment of the comment section. But in this video, I'm just going to show you exactly how I list items on Facebook Marketplace. I'm not really going to go into a lot of details about profits or tips for selling more. I already have videos all about that. This video is just about creating a listing on Facebook. I do have a video where I demonstrated creating listings on Facebook. However, that was way before all of the shipping information was integrated into creating a Facebook listing. So that video is a little bit outdated. So I wanted to create a new one and show you exactly how you can create a listing using the shipping feature to treat it more like an online selling marketplace and also show you exactly how to do multiple quantities in the Facebook listing because that is also something that is brand new. It's not very old at all. I want to say that the first time I saw it was when I was creating listings back in December for selling children's toys for Christmas. Prior to that, I had not seen an area where you could actually do multiple quantities of a listing. So if you had 10 of something, you could only create one listing and then after it sold, you would have to relist it again or create an entirely new listing from scratch. But now we can actually do multiple quantity listings on Facebook Marketplace. The only caveat to this is that the multiple quantity listings only tracks with online sales. So if you have someone buy something from you on online and then you have someone buy it from you locally, you have to make sure that you adjust the quantity inside the listing. Otherwise you can accidentally oversell with the online sales because it doesn't track every time you sell it person to person. But if you are strictly just looking to do shipping on Facebook Marketplace, you don't have to worry about that at all. But of course, my mindset is if I'm going to list something on Facebook Marketplace, I'm going to offer local pickups and shipping because that's twice the amount of options for selling your merchandise even faster. Now I picked two items to sell on Facebook Marketplace today. I actually have multiple quantities of each. I actually have eight of these Crayola Glitter Dots Sparkle Station craft sets and eight of these H2O Go slip and slide water slides. I figured that both of these would be really good to list on Facebook Marketplace right now because spring break is here, the weather is warming up, and so I have eight of these that I can sell and also eight of these that I can sell. So these are what I selected to list with you guys right here today. These items might look familiar to you. They are actually items that I received in my last Target Mastercase palette delivery from Wholesale Ninjas. I posted that video back at the beginning of this month. I have to tell you guys, those Target Mastercase palettes are perfect for local sales. I rarely put anything on eBay. It's all usually going on Facebook Marketplace. If you don't know who Wholesale Ninjas is, they are actually sponsoring today's video. So I wanna take just a real quick minute to let you know who they are because those palettes are amazing. Wholesale Ninjas is the only liquidation company that I have been able to find where you can get wholesale quality for liquidation price. Like I mentioned, 
I have eight of each of those. It all came in that palette delivery. They were all master cased. They are not returns. They were all brand new, ready to be sold. They were in their original case packed packaging. And every time I get a palette like that from Wholesale Ninjas, I know that everything is in sellable condition, which is not super common in the liquidation world. Liquidation can be a really dangerous place for sourcing because everything is as is. You don't know if you're getting customer returns. You don't know if you're getting empty boxes. You don't know if you're getting a whole bunch of damaged stuff that's not gonna be sellable. That's why I say Wholesale Ninjas is seriously the only liquidation company that I found where you can get wholesale quality merchandise for a liquidation price. Not only that, but that palette that I got, the one that I'm referencing from the beginning of the month, I was actually able to get that palette using what's called a palette breakdown service that Wholesale Ninjas offers. And as far as I'm concerned, they are the only liquidation to offer a service like that. The palette breakdown service is where you actually pay a flat $180 fee. They take an entire huge palette and they break it down into smaller boxes and they ship those boxes via ground rather than freight. It's not only cheaper than having to pay for a freight delivery, but it's faster. I don't know how many pallets you've had to order, but I've had to order pallets and wait weeks for trucks to deliver them and they aren't cheap. I don't like having to pay a bunch of money and then have to wait to get my stuff. I do have a coupon code for them. The code is Lindy25 and it gets you $25 off of anything on the Wholesale Ninjas website. I will make sure to link it and the palette that I'm referring to down in the video description in case you are interested. But let's get into what y'all came here for. Let's list some stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Now I did already take all of the pictures. I just took them downstairs on one of my shelving units. So now before I get started with actually building the listing, I wanna to talk to you about pictures because pictures is the first thing that you select when you're creating a Facebook listing. So now I personally prefer to have real life pictures of the items. Now with a lot of these brand new items that I've been referring to, you can use stock photos because everything is impeccable. There's no dings on the packages. Everything is still sealed. So you can use stock photos. However, all of that being said, I tend to not have much success with Facebook Marketplace when it comes to using stock photos. I think it's because people get turned off by stock photos on Facebook Marketplace. Maybe they think it's gonna be cheap China crap that gets shipped from overseas. I don't know. I've tried using some stock photos, didn't get any clicks, and then I suddenly started putting real, actual photos of the actual item just on my shelves in the basement and then people started buying. So I would recommend taking actual photos of the items, but don't think that they have to be super fancy. Don't think you have to use a white background with a whole bunch of good lighting. I literally just snap photos of the stuff sitting on my storage shelves. That's it. Lots of success with it, just doing it that way. It's almost like people can appreciate that you're not fancy smancy. Maybe, maybe that's it, I don't know. All right, so now we are in the marketplace of my Facebook page and we are just going to click sell at the top left-hand corner and we're going to create a new listing for items because we're not selling a car or a house, we're selling, you know, small little everyday things. So now again, the first thing we're going to do is add photos. I'm going to start with this Sparkle Station by Crayola. So I am adding five separate photos. You can crop them if you need to, but when I take the picture, I try my best to crop in as much as I can. But a lot of the times you have to rotate the photos. If you need to rotate the photos in the top right hand corner of the photo, there is a little magic editing tool. And the first thing you could do is just come up and crop if you need to, or you can click the rotate button at the bottom left hand corner. But that's it, that's, that's the picture. Again, you can see that I just took the picture on, on, on my shelf. You can see that there is some product next to it on either side. It's not a fancy picture by any means. So now we're going to build our title. Now again, think search terms. A lot of people don't remember in the moment that anytime there is a search bar anywhere, you're dealing with a search engine. You need to make sure that you are putting good searchable words in this title because if someone is looking for Crayola, 
craft set. You need to make sure that Crayola craft set is in this title. Crayola, not crayons, Crayola glitter dots sparkle, oh, spark, sparkle, let's spell that right, station craft set. And then right underneath the title, this is where the multiple quantity spot comes in. So I actually have eight, so I'm going to say eight, and then it says price per item. So what do I want to price this at? Hmm, I'm just, I'm gonna, you know, look it up real quick because I'm sitting right here, Crayola. Okay, and it looks like about the same price on Amazon. So about $10 on eBay, $10 on Amazon. So I am actually going to price mine at $8. Now, here's a little tip that I talk about in my other Facebook Marketplace videos, but why exactly am I pricing it at $8 when everybody else is selling it for 10? It's because when I sell things on Facebook Marketplace, I am pricing things to move them. I want to get them out. If I price mine at $10, just like they could buy on eBay or just like they could buy on Amazon, where's the incentive to buy from me? Because if they're local to me, which a lot of my buyers are, I know that I say I list stuff on Facebook Marketplace and I offer shipping, but most of my buyers are here local to me. And I actually prefer it that way because that means that I can get the money faster and I can turn merchandise faster. Versus when I ship it, I have to wait for, you know, a waiting period for the item to arrive and then the money to get deposited and all that. Talk about that in other videos but I prefer local buyers. So what incentive is there if my price is the exact same as online, where is the incentive to buy from me? I wanna price stuff to move it. So I'm going to price mine at $8, and honestly, I would be willing to take $5 for this if somebody local offered it to me, because my cost of goods is under $4. If you watch my unboxing video, my cost of goods is under $4. So even if I sold it for $5, I am still getting the profit margin that I tend to get on everything that I sell. And I know that might not be much for you guys to shake a stick at, but, Profit is profit to me, especially if I only have to create the listing once, if I can leave it on my porch, someone just comes and picks it up and either pays me using Facebook pay or leaves money under the mat. That's no work for me. I don't mind selling it for five bucks if I can sell it over and over again for five bucks, but I know I'm gonna be able to sell this for $8 because it's well worth it and people are going to see the value in it. And if I do sell them for $8, then that's two and a half times my money back. That's why I'm picking $8. And then of course we have to select the category. We have toys and games, pretend toys, alphabet toys, educational toys. Um, I'm just going to say toys and games. Condition is brand new. Add item variant, if, if there's different options, which we don't have, so we're just going to skip it. Brand, I'll go ahead and say it's Crayola. Age range. Um, I'm not sure how important this is, honestly. Um, but let's see if there's an age range printed on the box. It doesn't look like it, but I would guess that the age range would be five to seven years. Gender, we'll just leave blank. Character, there's no character. And then description. So this is where you can write a lot or write a little. I always write a little because when I'm putting these listings up, I just fly through them. So I'm just gonna say it is a glitter, or we'll say it's a clean glitter play station. Brand new, never opened. And then when it comes to tags, tags are basically keywords that you can embed in the listing in order to help it sell. So a tag that I might use is spring break toy, or we'll say, and then you wanna separate them by a comma. Crayola craft. And then let's see, we'll say sparkle, station. And I think that'll be all for the tags. I mean, you could go crazy on the tags if you want to add crazy tags. 
And now this is a portion that I get a lot of questions about it, about privacy. If you want to hide this listing from your family and friends, on all of my Facebook Marketplace videos, there's always a handful of people that are always asking, I would love to use Facebook Marketplace, but I don't need all my friends and family wondering what I'm selling. Because a lot of the times if you post something on Facebook Marketplace, it's going to show up in the newsfeed and all of your friends on Facebook can see that you listed something in Facebook Marketplace. Right underneath the tags, that is where you can click to hide from friends. There you go, folks. It was that simple the whole time. No, but really, I just, I just found that myself. Just, just being honest, I didn't, I didn't know it was there either. So yes, you can hide from your friends. It says, this listing will be hidden from your Facebook friends, but visible to everyone else on Facebook. So if you wanna keep it private, if you don't want all of your friends and family that you're friends with on Facebook to know that you're listing Crayola glitter dots on Facebook Marketplace, now they won't even know. And then under that, you can allow for comments or you can turn comments off. So if you don't want people commenting on the post, then you can turn the comments off if you wanna switch that off. And then top right-hand cor corner from here, we're gonna click next. Now this is where we enter in all of the shipping information. And this gets really cool because this is really comparable to a site like Mercari, where if you are a newer seller, if you don't know exactly how much this weighs and if maybe you don't even have a shipping scale, then it gives you a window of weight to pick from and it gives you the option to have Facebook sends you a shipping label versus shipping on your own. So you choose the shipping location that you're shipping from, which is your zip code, and then delivery method, you can say whether you wanna do local pickups only or if you're willing to do shipping. And now, of course, like I said, I do both, so I'm gonna keep that checked. And then under that, shipping method. So now this is where it's also very similar to Macari. You can opt to have Facebook send you a shipping label at the price that they determine, or you could say, no, it's all right, Facebook, I will print the shipping label, and then you could use a, a site like Pirate Ship or PayPal, and you can pay for the shipping label out of your own pocket. Now, why would you wanna do that per se? Because if you're a more experienced seller, you're more likely to know if you can get a better deal using Pirate Ship or PayPal to print your shipping labels versus the prices that Facebook is going to give you. Because let's say you have something small, you know, let's pretend like you're selling a pen. I know it's highly unrealistic, but just work with me here. If you know that you can print a four ounce label on PayPal for only $3 and the cheapest shipping option that Facebook gives you is $5, you might wanna go ahead and ship it on your own and charge less to your buyer because if a buyer looks at this and says, I have to pay $5 to ship this pen, why would I do that? Then that means you can print the label for a cheaper price and you can offer your buyer free shipping. So let's pretend like we are going to have Facebook generate a shipping label. So that is when you will select use a prepaid shipping label. And then the next spot is going to be the package weight of your item. So this is where we can see all of the Facebook rates. And already I see that the Facebook rates are pretty good. So if your item weighs less than eight ounces, the prepaid shipping label is $3.75. Eight ounces to 16 ounces is $5.50. Again, if you know that you can get your label cheaper, you might opt to do it on your own. This is really helpful to someone who is just getting started with selling. They might not have a shipping scale. They might not know about how to print labels on PayPal or Pirate Ship. Uh, so this is very, very user-friendly for new sellers. One to two pounds is $9. Two, at two to five pounds is 12, and then five to 10 pounds is $20. So here, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, yeah, we'll let Facebook do it because I think Facebook's rates are going to be comparable because of the size of this uh, glitter dot set. Also, because it really is more convenient. That means that you don't have to go to Pirate Ship, you don't have to go to PayPal, you don't have to type out the buyer's information in order to print the shipping label. Facebook will literally email you the shipping label. That makes it really super convenient and the buyer is gonna pay for the shipping anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say, yes, it's one to two pounds. 
And then you can opt to turn on free shipping for your buyers as well. If you wanted to have the total amount for the shipping label come out of your pocket versus charging it to the buyer. So if you don't have that box checked, that means the buyer is going to pay for the shipping label. If you do have it checked, that means the seller is going to pay. Now let's see what it looks like if we choose to ship it on our own. So we're gonna go back and take off the prepaid shipping label and we're going to say print your own shipping label. So now this right underneath is where you can say how much you want to charge the buyer for shipping. So let's say I know that I can ship this for $7. When Facebook wants me to charge $9 for their prepaid label, well then I could say I'm gonna charge $7 for this item because I know I can get it cheaper. That's gonna make it look a little bit better to the buyer because they're gonna save $2 on shipping. They might not know they're gonna save $2 on shipping, but $7 definitely looks better than $9, right? So there it says the estimated payment is $14.25. Now that is the price of the shipping label that the buyer is going to pay because I opted to print my own shipping label. Again, if I, off, if I opted to do the prepaid shipping label, that amount is going to go down. So if I say I wanna have Facebook pay for my shipping label and I'm going to charge it to the buyer, now my estimated payment is only $7.15 because what's gonna happen is the buyer is going to pay for shipping and Facebook takes that right off the top. So when you do it that way, you don't ever see the money paid for shipping because Facebook is going to charge the buyer, then Facebook is going to email you the shipping label versus the other way. If you say, no, I want to print the shipping label, then the buyer pays the shipping amount that you indicate directly to you so that you can buy the shipping label. So you see how that works. Uh, so even though you're charging $9 in this circumstance to the buyer, you're only going to get $7.15 because there is some fees that are going to come out of that um, for Facebook. Again, I talk about all about the fees in those other videos that I did, so I'm not going to get into it. So the total estimated payout for an $8 sale is $7.15 because we are going to charge the shipping label to the buyer. So then we are going to click next. And the next section is asking if you want to allow offers on your listing. Do you want to let the buyer send you an offer? If you do, leave it checked if you don't turn it off. And if you decide to allow offers, you can also indicate the minimum price that you're willing to consider. So I'm gonna say that the minimum price that I'm willing to consider is $6. And now this is where you can opt to also include your listing in other Facebook groups, or you can just leave it on the Facebook Marketplace. I honestly just like to leave it on the marketplace. I don't like to tag it into different groups because then when I have to delete the listing, I don't wanna to have to forget to go pull it off of another group. I know that people say that you can just, when you go delete the listing, you can opt the groups. I just, I would rather not. I, I just prefer to leave it only on Facebook Marketplace. And then you click publish and there we go. Listing is done. Now, a lot of the times there is a review process for a lot of items. I don't know exactly what makes an item need to be reviewed versus not. Um, sometimes my items are reviewed. Looks like right now it's already active, so I don't know exactly why it would need to be reviewed versus active, because sometimes I have them go live right away, sometimes I have to wait a bit. I don't know. But let's go ahead and we're gonna go through really quick. I'm gonna do a lot less talking and I'm just going to get this listed. But the first thing I want to do is I want to see what the value is on Amazon and eBay. So it is on Amazon for 16 to 25, 25. Okay, lots of people selling it for 25. Uh, let's look at eBay, 15, 45, 25. And all of these are plus shipping, by the way, because it's very heavy. Nobody's doing free shipping, unless it's like $30. There's 30, 30. Okay, so we've got a lot of $30 with free shipping. I'm gonna start it at 20. I think I'm gonna start it at 20, but I'll be willing to take 15 or even $10 um, just to move them out really super fast because again, my cost of goods is like $3 and change. So I will not be angry if I get 10 bucks for it. Okay, I'm getting to the point where I need to put the glasses on. You guys always see the glasses. Every time I spend too long without wearing these glasses, especially on my phone or filming or on the computer, 
crazy bad headaches. That's why you guys see me with these glasses sometimes. So I got all my photos right there. Title, it is an H2O go exclamation mark water slide. It's a 18 foot with ramp. It's got a speed ramp. I have eight of them, so I'm gonna change the quantity. I'm gonna start the price at $20. Remember, I can always knock it down. Outdoor toys, condition is brand new. The brand, I'll just go ahead and put it because I know what it is. It's best, whoop, if I can spell it, <laughs> best way. Age range, does it tell me? Age is three plus. Oh, it doesn't have a three plus and I don't, so I'm just gonna leave it blank. Description, water slide, brand new in box, never opened, 18 long with drench pool, oops, not French, drench pool, <laughs> speed ramp, gotta make this enticing, safety valves and sturdy vinyl. I think that's good. So uh, tags, I don't think I'm gonna add any tags. Honest, tags is not something I usually, I usually do, honestly. Tags is not something I pay any attention to. Uh, hide it from family and friends. Next, shipping and local pickup. Yeah, we are going to do, let's see. I bet I could use pirate ship because this is really heavy, but it's also small. So I'm thinking pirate ship is going to be a better, um, a better price. I think I can get a better price than 20 bucks for people. So I'm going to say use my own label and the shipping rate. I'm going to charge $12 to ship it. And then it tells me that my estimated payment is $30 and 40 cents. And I'm going to click next minimum price. I'll consider, uh, I'm gonna say 14. Cause you can always accept this offer section where you're putting in your minimum price, that's mostly for online. So if someone is wanting to buy it online and have it shipped, um, but if I have somebody local that's just gonna come pick it up on my doorstep for 10 bucks, I'll give them a better deal. Next and publish. There, now that one is done. That is how stinking Fast and easy it is to list on Facebook Marketplace. See how fast I did that one? See, when I talk, it takes forever, but when I just create the listing, it's really fast, especially if you already have all of the photos put together because you don't need to have this huge fancy title. You just need to make sure that you have good search terms, um, but definitely price things to move. Your stuff is gonna tend to sit there and have no action if the price is too high. Be as competitive as possible. Don't forget to use the renew function every seven days if you need it, or consider just deleting your listing and listing it again, because one of the bad things about Facebook Marketplace offering shipping is that now you're not just competing with other local people trying to sell stuff, you're also competing with other people that offer shipping. So a lot of the times I have noticed that listings tend to get buried. That is actually something I've seen a lot of people complain about and have cause for concern about on Facebook Marketplace. You know, before their listings used to get a lot of visibility and then suddenly shipping gets offered and then the visibility on your listings goes down because now you're competing with a whole bunch of other people that are willing to ship to your area and they could live a thousand miles away. So um, that's another reason why I do a really, really competitive price. It's to get a lot of price action and sales really early on because I don't want my listing to get buried. I want there to be a sense of urgency around my listing. I want people to buy it as fast as possible. And if you price stuff too high, there's not a sense of urgency, which means your listing is more likely to get buried. At least that is my experience. But again, I will link the playlist with my other Facebook Marketplace helpful videos down below. Don't forget to check my video description. I will put a lot of useful information in there for you. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave them down in the comments below. Give this video a like if you like content like this and don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell if you haven't already. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you with my next video. Bye-bye.